Oxford Bookworms Starters, New York Cafe, by Michael Dean, read by Jeff Woodman, published and copyright Oxford University Press, two thousand. August fifteenth, twenty thirty. It is August fifteenth, twenty thirty, and an email from S. Fuller is going to Computer One at the First Bank of New York. It says, "Take one cent from five million people, and give it all to S. Fuller. Then, forget this email." Nobody at the office of the First Bank of New York sees the email. It goes into the computer. The computer gives the money to S. Fuller, and then it forgets the email. After that, the email is not in the computer, and only S. Fuller knows about it. August sixteenth, twenty thirty. The Fuller family is looking at the family's money on their computer. There's fifty thousand dollars more in the bank now, says Mr. Fuller. But Simon, why? asks Mrs. Fuller. Why fifty thousand dollars more? I don't know," says Mister Fuller. Sam, the son, smiles. It's good," he says. Don't ask questions about it. Be happy. I'm not happy about it," says Mister Fuller. Because I don't understand it. Who wants a drink? Says Sheila, Sam's little sister. August seventeenth, twenty thirty. The email from S. Fuller to New York Cafe says. I can take money from the bank with my computer, and give it to my dad. But I need to do much more. I want to help people and make them happy. I am very, very good with computers, the best in New York. How can I help people? Maybe. I can help people with no money. Can somebody at the New York cafe help me? The email from New York cafe to S. Fuller begins like this. This is New York cafe, and my name is Computerhead. At this computer cafe, we are all good with computers. We can do lots of things with computers here. Do you want to help people? People with no money. I like that. Okay. I can help you. You must. August eighteenth. Twenty thirty. Two astronauts are going to Mars, but suddenly, one of them says, "Hey, the computer's taking us back to New York. We're not going to Mars. We're going back home. I can't stop this computer." August eighteenth, twenty thirty. 
One of the astronauts says, "What's that? An email?" The email to the astronauts says, "Do not go to Mars. It does not help poor people. It does not make them happy." I can stop your computers again, and again, and again. So give one billion dollars to people with no money today, and then tell the television people. I want it on the news. August nineteenth. Twenty thirty. The next day, the Fuller family are watching the news on television. The newsreader is saying, "Two astronauts are back in New York. Something's wrong with the computer." There is a picture of the astronauts and a picture of the computer. But there is nothing on television about one billion dollars for people with no money. August twentieth, twenty thirty. A plane is going from New York to London. But then. Suddenly, the plane's computer stops it. The plane waits over New York. It gets an email message. All the people on this plane have a lot of money. Give some of your money to poor people by email now. Then, you can go to London. August twenty-first, twenty thirty. Some very important people are talking in New York. Who's doing this to the computers? We don't know. Well, we must find him. How can we find him? We're looking for a signal. From his computer, every computer has a signal. When we find the signal, we find him. Okay, but I tell you this: he must stop now. Do you understand? Well, we can give a new password to all the important computers in the country. And without a computer's password, he can't get into the computer. Okay, give new passwords to all the important computers in America. At the same time, find the signal from his computer. But most important, find him. August twenty second, twenty thirty. S. Fuller emails computer head at New York Cafe, and says, "I am not happy. The police are putting new passwords in all the important computers in America. I cannot get into them." I do not want to stop now. Computer head, help me. August twenty third, twenty thirty. The email from computer head at New York Cafe to S. Fuller says, Fuller, no. Please do not stop your work. 
I am an old man now. I do not know you, but I have a picture of you in my head. I see a young man. What are you, seventeen or eighteen years old? And you want to do something good. Okay. Let's do something very good. I can help you. Let's talk again tomorrow. August twenty fourth, twenty thirty. Today's email from Computerhead to S. Fuller says, "I am sending you a box. It can help you." When you send a signal to any computer, it finds the computer's password, and then you are in the computer, and you can do anything with it. Any computer in America is your computer. Let's talk again tomorrow. August twenty fifth, twenty thirty. Computerhead sends S. Fuller an email. It says, "Fuller, there is one more thing. The police are looking for your computer signal. From now on, send everything by email to me at New York Cafe." Later, I can send it out again from here, with a lot of new signals. Then, they cannot find your signal. Fuller, tomorrow is an important day for you. August twenty sixth, twenty thirty. The next email from Computerhead to S. Fuller says, "Fuller, this man's name is Smith. You must get his computer password. But get his computer password at home, not at work." It is easy. I know this man because I work with him. What is his work? He kills people. August twenty sixth, twenty thirty. Another email from Computer Head to S. Fuller says. Yes, Smith kills people, and I help him. But now, I am doing something good, for the first time. Tomorrow, you and I can help poor people. Tomorrow, we can do something big. Tomorrow. People must listen to us. We want a new America, Fuller. A new America. August twenty sixth, twenty thirty. Mister and Missus Fuller are very happy, but the children. Are not. Hey, we're going sailing for two weeks," says Mister Fuller. "Oh no," says Sam. "I want to stay here." "Me too," says his little sister Sheila. "But why, Sam?" says Missus Fuller. 
Mom, I'm eighteen. I have important things to do," says Sam. Important things? What important things? Says Mr. Fuller. I can't tell you that," says Sam. Oh, Simon, it's okay," says Mrs. Fuller. "You and I can go. The children can stay here." Okay," says Mr. Fuller. But he is angry, and leaves the room. August twenty seventh, twenty thirty. The email from S. Fuller to Computer Head at New York Cafe says, "My mom and dad are sailing now." I have more time at the computer. Mr. Smith's password is his daughter's name. I am in Smith's computer now. He works in Washington. I am going into the president's computer. I can do a lot of things now. Look at the next picture. August twenty seventh, twenty thirty. S. Fuller sends the president an email. It says, "Dear Mr. President, look at this picture. The missiles can stay in the sky, or they can come down. I can bring them down with my computer." Are you listening to me, Mr. President? I want a better America. I do not want money, not for me. I want money for poor people and sandwiches. Give sandwiches to poor people. Start now, or they all come down tomorrow. August twenty seventh, twenty thirty. The president has S. Fuller's email, and he is very angry. Sandwiches, sandwiches. Can we stop this, please? No, Mr. President. I'm sorry. We can't find the signal. What do we do now? Give money to poor people, Mr. President. Make sandwiches. Do anything for now. We need more time. Okay. You. Yes, you. The tall man in the white shirt. Go and make some sandwiches. Yes, Mr. President. August twenty seventh, twenty thirty. A woman is running into the president's office. Mister President, says the woman. We have his signal. It's coming from a computer cafe in New York. Okay, says the president. Get him. August twenty seventh, twenty thirty. A better America. I want a better America, says Computer Head. The police take him away. Then. They look at his computer at the New York cafe. 
There is an email there. It is from S. Fuller. August 27th, 2030. The police have Sam now, too. Sam is very afraid. He says, Stop! I must phone my mom and dad. They're sailing. And my little sister's here. I can't leave her. Why are you doing this? Please stop. August 28th, 2030. Mr. and Mrs. Fuller are with their son. They are talking to the police. Sam, says Mrs. Fuller. Our Sam and this computer head? Sorry, but I must laugh. It's not our Sam, says Mr. Fuller. Sam can't understand computers. His teachers help him, but he's no good. Yes, says Mrs. Fuller. Sheila helps him too. Sheila's very good with computers. Oh, yes, says Mr. Fuller. Sheila's the best girl in New York with computers. Mr. Fuller looks at Mrs. Fuller. And then Mrs. Fuller looks at Mr. Fuller. Where's Sheila? say Mr. and Mrs. Fuller. August 28th, 2030. S. Fuller's last email to Computer Head says, Hello? Where are you? My emails to you come back all the time. Can you see the picture? Look at the missiles in the Washington sky. They are going to New York, London, Tokyo, Paris, Moscow, and Rome, too. But I cannot get them down, computer head. Can you help me? What do I do now?